recent op-ed from the Wall Street Journal, the proposed curriculum framework aims low, abandons the gifted, and preaches social justice. This in California. Dr. Bill Evers joins us now. He's the one who wrote the op-ed. He's also a former U.S. Assistant Secretary of Education under Bush and a senior fellow at the Independent Institute. Uh, Dr. Evers, thanks so much for joining us. If you could just tell our viewers what's going on in California, what are they hoping to do when it comes to these curriculums? Well, they're canceling advanced math classes for everything but the 11th and 12th grades. And they're doing this in the name of equity. So it's really they're canceling merit in the name of identity politics. And it's really unfortunate. There are gifted kids that are not going to get a chance to shine. There are kids that need to get to calculus by their senior year if they're going to get into a selective college. Instead, they want to train everybody through math to be an agitator, some kind of social activist, political activist. So you're saying that students who would normally progress through uh, the different math courses will be stopped? They won't be offered those ad more advanced courses? That's correct. So in order to, well, of course, if you're really good, you should have a chance to flourish and do the best you can. And if you want to get to calculus by your senior year in high school, you have to have a, a certain number of courses uh, on an advanced pathway. It's really hard to do it starting in 11th grade. That's the only advanced class that you get before calculus and senior year. You really can't do that. They're also telling teachers that those teachers are racist if they focus on the kids getting the right answer, if they uh, forthrightly point out the mistakes that the children have made. Uh, it's really kind of counterproductive, to say the least. Yeah, and again, this is happening in California public schools. Is that correct? That's correct. California public schools, there's a similar move that's sort of haltingly taking place in Virginia, but they're not going as far as the California people. Okay. I want to talk to you about some comments that were made this week by the American Federation of Teachers President Randy Weingarten, admitting that the Biden administration and CDC asked for language guidance in their school reopening guidelines. We're talking about curriculum. First, you've got to get kids back in the classroom. Here's that sound bite. asked us for language and we gave them language when they asked us for it. But if you look at the public record, I was saying these things publicly. We have said to the CDC, everyone should have, parents should be, um, they should be communicating with parents. They should be communicating with educators. They have to communicate with those who actually are impacted by their policies. Is that concerning to you, again, this sort of crossover between the conversations between the CDC and teachers unions when it comes to reopening? Well, it's pretty funny for her to say that parents should have some kind of say because their parents don't get a say. The unions are in a position to really dictate to the government what language they should. They put in exact language, verbatim language from the union in several cases here. The unions have used this whole lockdown to hold the taxpayer hostage. Like in California, we've been spending $21,000 a year per pupil in public school. But it's going to be next year, it's going to be $25,000 for state level, state, local, and federal monies. So they have, and even so, the kids are really not truly getting in-person learning. They're sitting with Zoom in a room. They go into the classroom. There's a computer in front of them. The teacher isn't there. The teacher is somewhere else on a Zoom program. So there's only about 13% of the kids that actually, in California anyway, have actual uh, in-person instruction right now. Yeah. No, of course, Zoom in a room. Also, I've heard of sort of the hybrid situation uh, where you're not in the classroom the entire week. That's also going right. to uh, set some kids back as well. Uh, thanks but for bringing this, is this, all, this forward. This is all medically unnecessary. They right. should have been there the whole time. Right. Absolutely. Thank Dr. Bill having... Evers joining us. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.